I'm Jared Dienda. This is Snap-on Tools Tech Series Nitro Edition. Now, Cruz, the smallest part could play the biggest role. What are we looking at here? Head gaskets, or as we like to call them, shims. We have every increment from 70 thousandths thickness all the way up to 125 thousandths thickness. We figure out what gasket thickness we want to give us the compression ratio we're looking for to fit that particular racetrack. All right, so there's different thicknesses here. What is the variance there? What does that allow? Based on the atmospheric conditions, you're trying to determine where you want compression. Sometimes when the atmosphere is really good, the air is cool, you don't want as much compression. When you have hotter, humid conditions, you want to give the piston a little more height away from the cylinder head to give you that maximum fuel-air ratio. We literally will change thousands of gaskets one way or the other to fine-tune the engine to get that maximum horsepower without hurting the engine. So we have different ranges of head gaskets here, 111.5, 92, also from new to definitely abuse. This one, obviously a failure here, a failure here, and this one's used. So many different materials, and then here we have copper. Why copper? So you want the gasket to be soft enough where it actually collapses over the O-ring of the actual seal of the cylinder head. We range from 70 thousandths thickness when it's summertime, and in the wintertime when we don't want as much compression, we can have as thick as 125 thousandths. And you're always double checking, like a fine tooth comb, checking the tolerances. Yeah, and it's critical because just because they're stamped a, a certain number, like this one says 92, we actually verify that with a sharp there. You want to measure each cylinder. There have been times we'll have a 92 head gasket where the center cylinders will be a 90. So you want to create that consistency so that each piston sees the maximum amount of pressure.